All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about KWGT and a couple of comments on YouTube about using the stock launcher or using a live wallpaper. In this case here, you see a couple of bubbles flying around as I touch my screen. It's kind of an interactive uh, live wallpaper. And, you know, could you make this with KLWP? Possibly, but it would be, it might not look as appealing as what this live wallpaper does right here. So you still want to use your live wallpaper. You're still using your stock launcher. How can we use KWGT to add a widget and to still see a lot of this live wallpaper that we have going on here? We're going to use some transparency, op transparency options, and we're also going to use the clear option under paint. So let me go ahead and add a widget for KWGT. And I'm just going to go ahead and resize it. All right, that'll be good. Let's go ahead and add that one. So in KWGT, starting with a blank slate, this will be a real quick video. So I'm gonna add an overlap group. Inside of this overlap group, I'm going to add a rectangle. And if you've, if you've used KLWP and KWGT, the numbers work a little bit different here, but nonetheless, we can still achieve something that looks quite nice. I'm gonna round off my corners a little bit. All right, I'm happy with that. Inside of this overlap group where we have the rectangle that we just added, let's add some text. And this text here, I'm going to set it to black for right now just so I can see it. And let's make it a little bit bigger where it fills up that rectangle with the rounded corners. Now, if we save this right now, um, I'm going to have this pop up every time because I don't use my stock launcher much anymore, but I'm doing it for the sake of this video. So I'm just going back to my home screen and there's our widget. Now I can drag this around, but uh, it's blocking the live wallpaper. We can't see any bubbles behind this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to tweak the transparency of this white rectangle and we're also going to apply the clear um, paint mode to these to this time that way we can see the bubbles behind this but yet the the widget will still look nice it'll still be clearly visible but we can use our live wallpaper in the background and we can still see the bubbles or whatever you have going through it so let me tap on my widget to open back up kwgt and what i'm going to do first is i'm going to show you that option where we can do the clear on the text so notice i'm here at my text uh, right there now i'm going to change the font a little bit to make it a little bit more bold as you can see right there, and go over to paint, and now go to this mode down here. Change that mode to clear. Let's save that. Let's go back to the home screen. And now notice, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna drag this down, and if we give it a second, if I let these bubbles kind of recoup, um, you'll start seeing some bubbles behind here. I'm gonna use the mouse to point them out. It sh they should be showing up behind here eventually. Yep, there's one right there. See them? See how they're starting to come to the center of the screen or whatever? But look, there you go. You can clearly see some bubbles flying behind these numbers um, once these come down a little bit more. Yep. So, you know, you're not losing all of your live wallpaper. Look, there you go. There's some bubbles flying through right there. Now, how can we make this even more transparent? Let's tweak the white rectangle. So I'm going to go to that rectangle now. I'm going to go to paint. You don't want to set... Leave that mode on normal. You don't want to set that to clear because it's going to, you won't see a thing then. However, we can go to the color, and this bar right here will adjust the transparency of, the. in this case, that white. So if I drag it to about halfway, it's going to make it a little bit more transparent. Let me check on that. Let's save it. Let's go back to the home screen. And now notice you can even see bubbles flying behind the rectangle and through the text. So, you know, th there you go. And that's not interfering, in my opinion, with the actual live wallpaper that you have. But you can still clearly see that it's 336 by this widget. You see all these bubbles flying back here? So there you go. That's how you can use KWGT with a live wallpaper without the widget interfering too much with what's going on in the background. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.